Hi, I'm Seth Rogen. And I'm Evan Goldberg. And this is Screenwriting 101. Pick an idea that you really like because it takes a long time to write a movie and a lot of energy. And some people like lose steam on their own ideas just because they slowly realize they don't like them as much as they hope they did. <laughs> um, so pick an idea that you are really passionate about and that will help you finish to what Evan is saying. Have a premise. Once you have those other things figured out, have a, have a strong premise that you stick to. An idea can come from anywhere and start as anything. And we've had some movies where it's born of like characters. And we've had other movies where it's born of like a plot. And then the characters are kind of made to fit that plot. We've had, a, and, and a story almost. Uh, the, you know? Sausage Party started as a title. Exactly, I was we gonna say, literally, literally Sausage Party started as a title and we made a movie based around that. generally commit to the three act structure, but we also break all sorts of rules all the time. Uh, there are some things that are repeat themes in everything we do, like characters need to change for people. Yeah, that would be good, care. that's a good, yeah. <laughs> in, in a, and, and something relatable, like I've seen some movies recently about like all powerful gods and stuff like that. And like, you need something to anchor a human being to, but any rule can be broken. They're just like, basic guidelines and you can just shatter them if the moment's right but it, yeah usually characters changing in general and, characters changing and the, and some version of a three act structure even if you're and just something and something to root and something to root for some yeah. cause someone you want to have something they don't almost every art is born of contrast, you know? And so I think like films are no different. It's like combining different elements. Um, and, and, and that's what makes the other element be, you know, be featured, you know? And so I think it is just modulating how funny is it versus how dramatic. And it's a I, I guess, movie well, thing, you know? Uh, yeah, and one of the things is, is you have to try to pretend you're experiencing it like the people who will experience it. Exactly. That's like the advantage film has is like you know or you used to know how people were going to experience it. Now you kind of know how people are going to experience it. You kind of hope it. you know. But yeah, we're going to figure it out. Yeah, making yourself the viewer is very important um, and, and really calibrating towards that experience. Similar sense, like we were with this at the end, we thought we'll do an end of the world thing and with Boston Party, we thought we'll do like a Pixar kind of thing, but ultimately, like, they have to be simple stories that would work if they weren't animated or they didn't have demons or they didn't have crazy visual effects or wild comedy. And so this is the end is just about, like, a guy who has new friends and his old buddy doesn't mesh with them and he just really wants everyone to get along, and they're not. And 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 Sausage Party is about someone who goes on a hero's journey to try to, like, help everybody realize that they're living a lie. And they're just, like, simple things that could work in a plain drama. And that has to be there or, or nothing works. I think some scenes, you know, um, function better than others. And, and some scenes have more opportunity for improvisation um, than others do. Um, and some yeah, actors are much better at improv than others and, and are actually able to create additive material. And, and other actors are completely unable to do that and therefore it's not something you should uh call on them for or rely on them for so um it's not like a general i would never advise everyone to like write a scene not great and be like don't worry we'll improvise this better on the day like that is not a good strategy like it should always be written as though no one's ever going to come up with anything better and if someone does fantastic but you should never count on that i don't think you know, world by world dependent. Like, and this is the end, we thought it really had to make sense. And there was some broadness there, but we thought it needed to be real. And in Sausage Party, we had like never ending conversations about the reality of anthropomorphized toys and other things and other Yeah, we're like, oh, they have like, toilet paper and, and, and you, talk. Yeah, why can't the forks talk? Why can't the table and talk? And why don't the sheets why of can't, toilet paper can the talk? chair talk? Yeah, like, um, yeah, so, a piece of pizza talks, but it's cheese and tomato sauce and bread. Did they talk before it became Yeah, did they talk? Yeah, so um, we, we have all the conversations, but eventually you just have to draw the line somewhere and every movie 
has a different line, but there probably should be some sort of line because the audience does like to understand the rules of the, the world that they're experiencing, you know? I would say often the last scene in a film. The very, is that is true. Hard. The very last scene of a movie is the, is is sometimes the hardest scene to write. Yeah, because you're, you're trying to say like, here's what here's the same thing you've been enjoying the whole movie in one of the best ways you've had in the whole movie, but also everyone's changed. So it's yeah. always a little tricky. But when you yeah, nail it. Exactly, like, what do you want yeah. to leave people with? You know what I mean? Like, what is the last, like, whatever it is, no matter what, it leaves a big impression. So there's a lot of pressure on the last. The beginning, the very beginning and the very end of a movie are both the hardest and most important parts in a lot of ways. <laughs> There's hundreds of drafts and it never stops and it's a never ending, transforming, painful, fun experience. We've probably done like 50 drafting. drafts of the script we're writing since the beginning of quarantine. And there was probably 50 drafts before that. Um, yeah, and, and ones where we like wildly changed things more than you would probably think. Like we, we, we changed things a lot because we, we just want to see it. Yeah, debate. we try not to be precious about our writing. And, and at times we found it's faster to just write something and see if it works than to spend a lot of time deliberating whether maybe or not it is going to work. Um, yeah, half and, the time it's not going to work and you realize it as you're doing it. And the yeah. other half, you finish it and then you realize it. But, you yeah, get exactly. it. <laughs> but I think like demystifying the actual act of writing is something that thank God happened to us a long time ago because just we've been doing it so long. So we're not incredibly precious with like the movement of our fingers on a keyboard. Like if there's a version of a scene where we're like, oh, what if we completely changed this part of the movie and took out this scene and then wrote another scene that we will just do it rather than kind of deliberating it for a super long time, you know? One person generally feels way stronger about it than the other person. Like, it's like, we will be disagreeing <laughs> on a thing and one of us feels like 10 degrees about it and the other feels like two degrees about it. So it's and never it, that hard of an argument either because like generally the person who just cares way, way, way more will will win the argument. And it often ends with the other person just saying like, you care more, I'm out, whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, it's like, and again, oh. and it's not like, there's a lot of times for that for to come back to that whatever. It well, yeah, I, I was gonna say that like like there's things where I'll be like he'll find out that he's wrong in a year and a half. Like, yeah, exactly. We're sitting in a pre-production <laughs> meeting like that's what I'm gonna be right about this point. Like we have we know we have the long game, so there's no panic to be right more in a short period of time. Definitely. A good screenwriting quote that I've read that I think of a lot is like, a script is not a work of art. A script is an invitation to come collaborate on a work of art. And a screenplay itself is, is nothing. <laughs> so like, but what a screenplay should be is something that hundreds of people read and are inspired by and, and want to come together to help bring something new to life, you know? Um, and that's what you should think of a screenplay as, is it is not the finished product.